Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, January 14th. And we've been talking for weeks and weeks now about the uh, change to colder weather. And if we put the time lapse in motion here for Sunday, you can see just a few clouds in the background. These are streaming from northeast to southwest as we had a uh, northeasterly uh, flow over the weekend with that storm moving well off to our south. As far as the headlines, it'll be mainly a cloudy week. There'll be some periods of some sunshine, but we'll have about two or three periods here over the next uh, couple of days where we could see periods of freezing drizzle and maybe a little bit of light snow. We don't expect much, but then again, if we get freezing drizzle, it doesn't take much to make the roads a little bit slippery, but right now we don't see it as a major issue. What we do see is something we've been talking about again for weeks and weeks, on this forecast to a much, much colder temperature. And I think we have to watch for the potential for possibly a major winter storm that uh, could coming through the area here over the weekend. I think especially for Saturday into Sunday, could start as early as Friday night. But again, we're gonna have to watch this storm. Right now, the heaviest, uh, most likeliest chance of heavy snows look to be the further south and east you go and maybe even into the Ohio Valley. But there is a trend toward the north and I think, uh, and I'll show you in a map or two here and uh, explain why I think the storm may go uh, quite a bit farther north. And again, uh, that possible storm followed by bitterly cold air. In fact, on Sunday and Monday, if some of the models are right, we'll have to struggle to get out of single digits for highs. And if we get snow cover on the ground, especially, I think we could see lows going overnight well below zero here for early next week. Our normal high is 27, the normal low is 11, and if we look at yesterday, we had a high of 28 and a low of 19, again, no precipitation, and uh, we're at 5.9 degrees above normal per day so far for the month of January. We were almost 10, and by the end of the month, we're going to see these numbers in blue for below normal, and we could be actually uh, a couple or several degrees below normal. That's how cold this air mass is coming up, and it's going to last our right on through the rest of the month and into February as it looks right now. Sunrise this morning at 8.08, it'll set tonight at 5.26. You can see temperatures out this morning, mainly in the teens. Cold spot at Marlette at 11 degrees, and here in Breckenridge, it's the warm spot at 18. And if we look at satellite view, you can see a couple of these systems are gonna be much like this. Tight little systems, small systems, not real strong, and not a lot of moisture to work with, but uh, we'll see shallow moisture, I think, here over the next couple of days. And uh, especially for tonight into uh, tomorrow and tomorrow night, we could see periods of freezing drizzle. And then maybe another system on Thursday, and then that cold front comes through Thursday. It's going to set up across the Ohio Valley, and that's going to set the stage for what could be a very significant winter storm at the end of the week, uh, this weekend, followed by some very bitterly cold air. And I think we're going to see more in the way of uh, snow and cold temperatures right on through the rest of the month. You can see just a little bit of activity with that low up in the arrowhead of Minnesota. And again, as that moves to the east, it's going to draw southwest winds over the lake. That's going to help create some low level moisture that could set the stage tonight again for that freezing drizzle and maybe a little bit of light snow. On the weather map this morning, you can see the storm that brought the snow across the uh, southern Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley is now off to the east. We got our next system dropping down to the south. Again, that'll bring just a little bit of activity here over the next couple of days. And then we're gonna watch the storm system develop across the uh, southern plains in Texas and Oklahoma. We expect that to drop down into central and northern Arkansas. And then it's gonna, be, it's gonna make its turn. Now, uh, right now, the models favor that storm to move around to the area through around Kentucky into Virginia, bringing very, very heavy snow to portions of Indiana, Ohio, into Pennsylvania and New York. But the trend has been further and further north, and I think that's going to continue as we have a, just a tremendously cold uh, Arctic high pressure system that's going to drop down. I think it's going to buckle this jet stream, make it a shorter wavelength, and I think in turn that's going to drive the storm up into the Ohio Valley. And again, we have to really keep an eye on this. Portions of the area could see over a foot of snow, I think, as we get into the weekend and early next week. So uh, something we're going to keep an eye on. I think if we uh, get into Wednesday, I think we'll begin to see a lot more confidence. We'll see the models uh, come into better agreement. Right now, the models have been in good agreement that there would be a pretty good storm, and they've been that way for at least two, two and a half days now. So again, with all the models showing a significant storm, I think the likelihood that this is going to happen is pretty high. It's just a matter of where the heaviest snow is going to end up falling. As far as the uh, WPC, or the, rather this is the uh, seven day period, you can see the heaviest precipitation on the WPC forecasted to be across the Ohio Valley. And again, this has trended a little bit farther to the north and west, and I think it's gonna continue that trend. We'll see what it looks like here in the next two days. 
And if we look at the uh, snowfall from the GFS, you can see a whole lot of snow. In fact, portions of Pennsylvania are going to get blasted by a blizzard. And again, don't be surprised if that shifts further north. And we might be talking about something like that across the area here as well. And if we look at the uh, next slide, you can see this is a Canadian model showing a half a foot of snow this weekend from uh, Ross Common all the way down to about I-94. So you can see it's the further model to the north. And in these red dash lines, this would be the European model showing uh, eight or more inches of snow very likely in this area, which would include all of southeast lower Michigan and into uh, southwest Ontario. And this black line, the European from uh, around the Hillsdale or Constantine all the way up to about Port Huron, from that area across southeast lower Michigan, we can see over a foot of snow on the European model. So again, I think the entire area is going to have to keep a close eye on this storm. And we've been talking about this storm that would tug down that bitterly cold air for really for quite some time now. It's probably about a week later than I thought about a month ago. But uh, we've always been targeting around the 10th of uh, January. It looks like obviously it's going to be around the 20th. And again, after this storm comes through, it's going to be a whole new ball game out there as winter will be in full swing. As far as the extended outlook, we can, you can see the 6 to 10 and the 8 to 14 day outlooks. Colder than normal temperatures, most likely across the center and eastern portions of the U.S. with above normal precipitation. So what that tells me, we're going to build on our snowpack here once we uh, start heading towards the weekend. It looks like it's going to be a whole new world out there compared to where we've been. As far as the forecast in the near term, though, you can see for much of this week, not too bad. Temperatures in the upper 20s to maybe some mid-30s with the chance of some light uh, mixed precipitation tonight into tomorrow, tomorrow night, maybe again on Thursday, and then we'll watch for late Friday, but more likely, I think, into Saturday and Sunday for a potential for a winter storm. And again, followed by bitterly cold air as we get into Sunday and much of next week. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.